Hey everybody, uh, grace and blessings, all praise be to the true and living God. Praise God, thank you Jesus. I wanted to read Ephesians 2, and God put on my heart just to read Ephesians 2, because um, I was in sinless perfection doctrine, and I followed sinless perfection preachers for a long time, and you know, I never felt more dead inside than when I went a month virtually, quote unquote, sinless. But um, I want to read Ephesians 2, if God wills. I am dyslexic. All praise be to God. Allows me to see words differently, but that also makes it so I cannot, mm, you know, do basic functions sometimes. But Ephesians 2. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, where in time past ye walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we had we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by the nature of children of wrath, even as others. But God, who was rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loves us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ." By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of yourself, for it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his worksmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should all walk in them, that we should all walk in them. One in Christ. Wherefore, remember that ye being in the time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcised by the which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world, but now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain and new men so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enemy thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were far off, and to them which were nigh. For for through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord in whom ye are builded together for inhabitation of God through the spirit. So Ephesians 3, the mystery of the gospel. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if you have heard the dispensation of grace of God, which is given me to you, Lord, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote of afore in few words, whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and the same, the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift and grace of God given unto me by effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is the grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see What is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ? To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church and the manifold wisdom of God, according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, 
in whom we have the boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulation for you, which is your glory. For this cause, I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the, the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the rich of his, riches of his glory to be strengthened, which might be the spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the, the bread, the length, and the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in all church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Ephesians 4. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, even as ye are called in the hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto everyone is given grace and according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he has ascended, what is it that he also descends first into the lower parts of earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature and the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no, no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in, into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, for whom the whole body is fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making increase of the body unto the edification of itself in love. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that she henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness and greediness, but ye have not so learned Christ. If so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as a truth in Jesus that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye be, and ye put on new man. Which after God is creating in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man true, truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that steals steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing that is good, that he may have to give up, give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying. That may minister grace unto the hearers, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you.